Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Player Journal. My name is Blake and I'm here to bring you all of the latest and greatest gaming news. Today's story is about the upcoming Warrior Viking Samurai Fighter game for Honor. Now the season pass has been rumoured for a little while, um, the information regarding it, but Ubisoft has now come out and shot down the rumours, although they are true so not really shot down. But given some more insight on what we can ex uh, expect to see from the Season Pass and the free DLC. And it looks like it's going to be following the footsteps of Rainbow Six Siege in terms of new maps and new heroes will be coming out with certain uh, competitions and events along the year. So the Season Pass Year 1, I'm guessing it will be called, will feature 6 new heroes. Uh, six elite outfits and six maps and these will come in at the end or at the start of each faction war so for the first faction war that will be coming out this year we'll be getting two two heroes and one map or two heroes two maps uh, something like that I, I believe and there'll be three seasons per year so that equals six characters six maps um, and so on and so forth the maps are will be free i presume to everybody um and the characters can be bought with the in-game currency much like rainbow six siege um, and if you have the season pass you'll be getting these characters for free and you'll be playing them seven days early i believe just like siege again so it seems like they are much very much similar to each other in terms of when you'll be getting content and who will be getting content um, Price-wise, there hasn't been an actual price yet. The Year 2 DLC for Rainbow Six Siege was £25, but many other people are saying it's going to be around 30 for the Season Pass, so we'll just have to see what the price will be once it releases. Uh, for Honor is due to release on 14th of February for PC, Xbox One and PlayStation 4. I know there have been quite a few videos going up of the beta unfortunately i believe i was literally the only person in the world that didn't get a uh, beta key so rest in peace me but in terms of that if you want to keep up with all of the latest gaming news head on over to theplayerjournal.com or you can go and like us on facebook or follow us on twitter take care everybody